Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 24. When a man has taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he hath found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement, and give it in her hand, and send her out of his house. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. And if the latter husband hate her, and write her a bill of divorcement, and giveth it in her hand, and sendeth her out of his house, or if the latter husband die, which took her to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after that she is defiled, for that is abomination before the Lord. Thou shalt not cause the land to sin, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. When a man hath taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, Neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer up his wife which he hath taken. No man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge, for he taketh a man's life to pledge. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel, and make the merchandise of him, or selleth him, then that thief shall die, and thou shalt put evil away from among you. Take heed in the plague of leprosy that thou observe diligently and do according to all that the priests, the Levites, shall teach you as I commanded them, so you shall observe to do. Remember what the Lord thy God did unto Miriam, by the way, after that ye were come forth out of Egypt. When thou dost lend thy brother anything, thou shalt not go into his house to fetch his pledge. Thou shalt stand abroad, and the man to whom thou dost lend shall bring out the pledge abroad unto thee. And if the man be poor, thou shalt not sleep with his pledge. In any case, thou shalt deliver him the pledge again when the sun goeth down, that he may sleep in his own raiment, and bless thee, and it shall be righteousness unto thee before the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of thy brethren or of thy strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. At his day thou shalt give him his hire. Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and setteth his heart upon it, lest he cry against thee unto the Lord, and it be sin unto thee. The father shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Thou shalt not pervert the judgment of the stranger, nor of the fatherless, nor take a widow's raiment to pledge. But thou shalt remember that thou was a bondman in Egypt, and the Lord thy God redeemed thee thence. Therefore I command thee to do this thing. When thou cuttest down thine harvest in thy field, and hast forgot a sheaf in thy field, thou shalt not go again to fetch it. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow that the Lord thy God may bless thee in all the work of thine hands. When thou beatest thine olive tree, thou shalt not go over the boughs again. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When thou gatherest the grapes of thy vineyard, thou shalt not glean it afterward. (coughs) Excuse me. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Egypt, Therefore, I th- command thee to do this thing. Well, that's the reading for today. Some more things to remember. It seems like in place of just one thing, he's, 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 uh, Moses is bringing up little odds and ends. You know, just thinking as was reading these these last few chapters. Isn't it amazing how much under the first covenant how much the children of Israel had to remember. All these laws, all these statutes. Under the new covenant they had to keep still keep the Ten Commandments but there was no more sacrifice for sin as there was back there under the old covenant. Jesus came to be the final sacrifice, the perfect sacrifice for me and you. 
as we're reading these things we need to remember that I want to remind you of it if I if I can remember it I want to remind you of it every once in a while he made the perfect sacrifice all you have to do is accept it God bless you have a blessed day